Welcome back, guys. Sorry, still no Porsche to brag to you about. I apologize that I've been a little slow to get the updates edited and uploaded this month. Been busy in the shop, our help has been out sick, and my wife and I are getting ready to go on vacation for our 15 year anniversary, so I haven't had a lot of free time to get these videos together for you. You should have an update about every day for me for the rest of the month from here on out. Anyway, as our record warm temperatures are finally behind us, things are starting to cool off as we head into fall and winter here in Texas, so let's see how things are doing. This is our 23-way ceramic spray coatings longevity test, being the six month mark. It's a this point that it would be a typical lifespan of these products with most advertising about six to 12 months of longevity halfway point for some of them maybe remember this sits outside all the time 24 7 exposed to the elements so as usual we'll go ahead and foam this hood down using chemical guys honeydew snow foam rinse it foam it again wash it rinse and inspect the hydrophobic properties before drying everything off. This hood is rotated either 90 or 180 degrees after each update, so it doesn't stay in the same spot all the time. So last 30 days weather, as well as the lifetime weather is on your screen here. And so without further ado, let's see how things are holding up. And jumping right into things, Sonex Ceramic Spray still hanging in there, but it is getting a little weak. I believe it's advertised as a six month product, so it's pretty much doing as advertised. Griot's three in one, we know, lasts around eight to 12 months. From previous testing, it looks like it's on track to do about the same. New Finish Graphene has been a great standout. Look at how strong the hydrophobics are on that product. Really, the original New Finish wasn't bad either the original new finish spray. Adam's Advanced Spray looking weak. Wolfgang Uber looking pretty weak as well. Not to the point where we'd call it failed, but it's well on its way. White Diamond Graphene we knew had failed. McKee's Hydro Graphene. There we go. There's our first failure. Of, well, maybe not. Not quite. Rain X Graphene. Okay, there's our first failure. See, just a little bit at the very end, but I think that's enough where we can call it failed. 303 Graphene was five months. That product has been all over the board. Avalon King Boost still hanging in there. Some of you had said that they have updated that product. It's a very difficult product to install, at least the one I had. On down to Soft 99 Trees, which was originally advertised as a three month product, and it has it's barely hanging in there, but it is still going. TA System Quartz Max, almost done. 3D Ceramic Touch, almost failed as well. G Technic Marine, advertised as a six month product. Here it is, six months, and it's pretty much failed. Another standout is Gion Evo Can Coat, very strong. So, Gion Evo and new finish would be the two really strong standouts along with Grios and maybe Sonex, I don't know. Those would be the four that are sort of standing out for me right now. Grios, new finish, Sonex, and Gion. But yeah, Rainex, Rainex we're gonna call failed and I guess G-Technic Marine, it's, it's really close. 3D Ceramic Touch is really close as well, but just a little bit a little bit hanging on there. So there's your update, guys. Six months, have four pretty strong standouts. I don't foresee this going past the year mark, so we'll see how it goes. So stay tuned. Make sure you check out the spreadsheet in the video description, and if you'd like to purchase any of them, please do so through the links provided in the video description. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you soon.